Just because you pay more for a vehicle doesn't mean it's prettier than something costing thousands less. There are plenty of ridiculously expensive cars and trucks out there that are ugly as sin. Amen, brother Craig. In fact, here are seven of them. Craig Cole here, back again with another short list because apparently you guys love nothing more than getting whipped into a frothy rage. The heat is swelling in you now. I can feel it too, I can feel it too. And this compilation is sure to cause more than a few coronaries, so maybe it's a good idea to keep your phone nearby so you can call 911 should things get out of control. Anyway, here is our list of expensive vehicles that are just plain homely. Let the heat flow through you. Thanks, Darth Sidious, I will. But first up, we have an ultimate driving machine, or rather a golf cart made of plastic. Starting around $43,000, BMW's Electrified i3 does a lot right. Its wood trim is sustainably harvested, the leather tanned with olive leaf extract, and its architecture is constructed largely of carbon fiber that's made in a plant operated completely off of hydroelectric power. Now these are all great things, but why does this car look so weird? It's like every part was designed by a different team and then they all hot glued them together at the end. Another luxury vehicle that's both pricey and hard on the eyes is Lincoln's Bizarre MKT Crossover. Ungainly from just about every angle, this three-row vehicle can haul people, though based on the styling, those individuals are likely no longer with us. You see, the MKT bears more than a passing resemblance to a funerary coach, and that's not necessarily a good thing considering the average Lincoln buyer's age. Next, we've picked an alt-fuel eco-crusader that is powered by the lightest element of all. Toyota's spaceship Mirai may run on hydrogen and emit only water vapor, but no amount of rainforest saving or polar bear hugging can compensate for this styling disaster. It looks like designers brought to life a six-year-old sketch of some Star Wars battle cruiser. Pew, 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 pew! Making things even worse, it starts at 58 grand, and there are only a handful of fueling stations around. German automakers are normally paragons of good taste, but as with the i3, sometimes their designs do get derailed. Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe range, for instance, is another swing and a miss, especially when it starts at $70,000. Now, this design is not particularly offensive, but I take umbrage at the whole crossovery coupe segment. I just said ovary. Now why take a perfectly functional utility vehicle and dramatically deflate the cargo space by giving it such a sloping roof line? It just makes no sense to me. Another unsightly SUV is the Tesla Model X. Lacking a proper radiator grill, since, you know, it's an EV and kind of doesn't need one, this vehicle's face brings to mind Jason's hockey mask, especially in white. <laughs> Throw in needlessly complicated falcon wing doors, an ungainly rear end, and a starting price, before tax incentives, of about $83,000, and you have a recipe for a big fat no thank you. But eclipsing that figure by a factor of nearly three is the Bentley Bentayga. This big British brute may proffer a sumptuous cabin, but its body is a mishmash of design cues that is definitely less than the sum of its parts. The grille and oversized fenders seem completely out of proportion. Plus, did the MKT inspire its rear end? <laughs> I hope not. When dropping nearly a quarter mil on something, it should look more cohesive than this. Now, onward to the final pick, one that is sure to earn me buckets of scorn. But guess what? I don't care because I think the Pagani Huayra is as homely as a meth head smile. Exotic? Yes. Expensive? Oh yeah. Fast? You betcha. Tasteful? No f***ing way. There's something so unwieldy about this vehicle's proportions. Also, the quad headlamps, mouth-breathing grille, and wispy exterior mirror housings make this supercar look like some sort of alien insect. But its million-dollar price tag is the real kicker. For that much cash, why not just get a Ferrari, Lambo, or Aston Martin? top dollar vehicles that actually, you know, look nice. 
And that brings us to the end of another short list. Your heat has made you powerful. If you've made it this far, thank you, or I'm sorry, whichever applies. Now, before signing off, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest auto show coverage, vehicle reviews, comparison tests, and of course, more short list episodes. Just search for Auto Guide and it'll pop up, I'm quite certain. Now, go and comment until your heart's content or gives out.